There's a beautiful piece of Rav Kook. I mean, all his pieces are beautiful. In Orot Hariya, in Yane Tfila Zain, where Rav Kook writes, all of existence yearns for its source of its life. Every plant, every blade of grass, every speck of sand, every clump of earth, everything that reveals life and everything that hides within life the small part of creation and the big part of creation, the heavens above, it, 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 they all yearn for their source. I remembered a piece of Maharal Netzach Yisrael, Kaf Gimel, where the Maharal writes that Adam is an alul, an effect, and the Ila, which is the cause, is Hashem is Baruch. And as we know, the effect always wants to connect to its cause. The alul always wants to connect to the ila. And we mentioned as well, Gemara Bavakama, and you see Rashi, that Adam is called Ma'ava, a, a yearning, a wanting. Maybe Rav, what Rav Kook is telling us here is that Tfila is a time to reconnect to the alul to the ila. Tfila is a time to remember that we shouldn't just be connected, we yearn to be connected. And when we live in the physical world, it's so easy to forget this. It's so easy that the Allah wants to connect to the Ila. It's so easy to be masked in the superficialness of the world and the separation of the world. And when we stop and we recognize this gift, I think everybody knows. We want to connect to our source. That's where we feel complete. That's where we feel whole. What a gift that we have the opportunity of tefillah, that the ilal can connect back, the alul can connect back to the ilah, the, the, the effect Adam, we have this opportunity to connect back to our cause. So Be'ezras Hashem, as we get up and daven, we can remind ourselves, we can remind ourselves what we really are, who re we really are, and as well, where we really need to connect and belong to.